Welcome to Cure Aquatics and Exotics. My name's Susie, and today I want to tell you how I set up this linear piston air pump system. This is a three day project, so it's a little lengthy video. So I did kind of put a vague timeline in the description below if you want to skip ahead to different parts. And a shout out and thank you to Rob93 who talked me off the ledge on day two when I had a mini meltdown. <laughs> So let's go check out my linear piston air pump. So this idea that I needed a linear piston air pump all came about because I live in an area that I lose power a lot. And switching over air filters and sponge filters to battery operated pumps was almost an hour and a half in time. It was a very difficult process. On my hands and knees in the dark trying to figure out, oh, so we finally got a generator. Okay, so we got a generator and it was still, I had 11 pumps. Trying to get them all connected to a generator was not an easy task. So, and ironically, day one of my vacation, getting ready to set up my linear piston air pump, I lost power. Didn't think I was gonna be able to set it up, but the power came back on after a day. So now if I lose power, I have one outlet that I need to plug into that generator and I know the fish room down here will be okay. Let me show you how I plan for it. Hey everybody, it's Susie Q and I'm here to show you just what I do. I have a passion for fish and exotics too, so come along with me, it's Susie Q. Hey everybody. So now I am ready to get started on centralizing the air system for my fish room. Linear piston air pump. So I am sitting here on the Monday beginning my vacation and I have just finished drawing a couple plans for how the fish room linear piston air pump is going to work. So what I did is I pulled out my graph paper, figured out the dimensions of everything, and then figured out what path would be the best because my fish room is not in a square format or rectangular format. It appears it is more in an F format. So here is all my fish room and all the dimensions and here is the pattern that I'm going to go with. That one. And the linear piston air pump is going to be in this corner up here. For a couple reasons. One, when uh, we lose power and the generator wire comes in, the electricity, that's where it's going to go. And I figure that's the closest to everything. And if I need to put another one, I'll put another one here later on down the road. So I have all these measurements of how long my PVC needs to be. Well, I drew to scale in my fish room back when Greg Jones, he was helping me design the fish room of my dreams. I won a contest and let me tell you about Greg Jones. That man is full of knowledge and experience, especially when it comes to fish keeping and fish rooms. So he gave me a lot of amazing ideas, steps to take, what needs to be done, what doesn't. Um, and this was one of them. So a year later, Oh, I'm so quick on this thing, aren't I? I'm just so quick. Now that I have the paperwork done, I think I know where I'm going to start. I got myself all the PVC. I got myself the 90 degree angles, connectors, because when I cut a PVC pipe in half, sometimes I have to connect the two. Or if it's longer than the PVC, then I'll have to connect the two. So I got connectors. And then I had ordered some things from Aquarium Co-op. And they all came in last week. So I'm very excited. So I got a whole bunch of his large coarse sponge filters. Um, and I had some airline tubing already, but that was the real cheap stuff he sold that was kind of kinked. So I got some more airline tubing. And I got air valves, drill bits, and I got a ladder. So now I'm ready to get started on centralizing the air system for my fish room. Linear piston air pump. 
Well, first let's talk about this linear piston air pump. So here is LA45C that I got from Aquarium Co-op. So I got this linear piston air pump and it's one of the most quiet, durable pumps on the market today. It's got low energy consumption, oil-free operation and self-cooling. They have about as much ambient noise as a light ballast and consuming very little energy. They last longer, especially in hot, humid climates, which I will have. It's expected life of more than six years. Quiet, vibration-free. I cannot wait to turn it on. And it comes with the elbow that's going to connect this to my, to my PVC. And I'm about to get started. But first, should we hear how loud it sounds? Now, I am wearing a microphone up here. I love it. I can't wait to get started. So some of the other ingredients in this amazing project is, got these from Aquanite. These little valves that open and close. And I got, I got 40 of them because I have another bag in the other room. Got this connector adapter, and this is what I was talking about. It's going to connect this elbow. So the adapter I got is the wrong size. What I need is something that's going to connect 1-inch PVC to 3-quarter inch tubing. I also have some Aquarium Co-op Black Airline. Then I got some of these valves. And here's what I was thinking because I wasn't sure. These are going to be for closer down to the actual tank. So this is going to be a little valve to turn it up, turn it down. And my drill bits that I will find. And it is time check. Too early in the morning to drill, but it's not too early to go downstairs and set up my ladder. And since I have a drop ceiling in my basement, all different things I'm going to be using to try to connect it because I'm only having air in here. There's no water. There's no high pressure. There's not a lot of weight. And I figure while I'm up there on the ladder, I got a box of ceiling tiles so I can replace them as I go. Some of them are kind of old and falling apart. So I figure while I'm up on the ladder anyway, might as well make it look real good. I thought this might take me all week to do. We're going to see. It might not take all week to do. Let's get started. Ooh, it's already hot in here. All right. Can I get them down here? The ladder's in the way. Note to self, move the ladder. This is just too hard for me to carry. I'm gonna have to carry two at a time. Let me go for more. And if they're not heavy, they're just very awkward. They gotta be 10 feet long. Getting them down on the wrong corners. Okay. So I got my PVC cutters, I got my PVC, I got my connectors, got my 90 degree angles. I can clearly see that I got the wrong connector. This came with the pump. It is neither the right size for this, nor is it the right size for the PVC. Air adjusters, hangy things if I need them. Valves, piping, uh, air tubing. Oh, and I am going to need a trash bag down here. So I do see a beam here that as long as I go through this one, or should I come under it? If I come under it, now we're talking John Pone's height. It's going to have to be right up against that. This is the only pipe that is length that's going to be more than 10 feet. Ah, but it will need a connector on each end. Oh, I should have gone over one because I wanted it to come down this side. Is there something up here that I can come up and over? Do these things twist? 
I want it to go this way. Some of the gum. Maybe a zip tie? Does this pipe ever get hot? Zip tie! Not sure if this helps. But all the beams are going this way and I need the hole to go this way. And I don't know if I can turn it. I can't physically turn it myself, so. Now keep in mind, right now, I'm still just trying to hang PVC with no, no drilling in it. Woohoo! Hung my first piece. Now it's going to come down. Ah, it should be over more. Man, what is wrong with me? Well, this is how it's going to have to be. Now this PVC might be strong, but it sure looks like it's sagging. I think I want a little higher to the ceiling. Well, I can't because of this beam. Unless I'm able to go up and over. I think this is going to be fun. <laughs> so I don't know if you can see this. Because I put it over the beam, I am hoping it'll drop down to here. That's what I'm hoping for. We'll see if it works that way. tell you just this one pipe straight down from one end of the room to the other going over a beam my synopsis is I'm in over my head this is hi but I'm gonna keep going I'm gonna keep going I think I did this wall first because I knew it was going to be the hardest. Even though there's no holes, I knew I had that. I forget what that beam is called. But I had that beam. You know, the big beam that holds your house up. <laughs> so while I was uh, drilling the holes, I was using both drills. One was holding the actual drill bit. The other one I was using to clamp on the valve and slowly spin it into place. Now here while I'm drilling the holes, I got to be very careful not to go through, obviously, both sides of the PVC. I also have to make sure I'm holding the drill real steady and perpendicular because if I even hold the drill on a little bit of an angle, it could change the size of the hole. So here what I'm doing is I'm clamping it in my second drill. This is the valve and I'm using my drill to help me get these valves screwed into the PVC. It'll create its own little threads. Just have to make sure they all kind of like end on the same angle. Welcome to Q Aquatics and Exotics. My name's Susie, and today is day two of my linear piston air pump. Let me show you how far I've gotten and what's left to do. 
and what I might have to just redo. This starts almost at the end. I've got it tied up tight over the door, a little 45, going along. All the air valves are in place. Coming along, this wall was a bear, let me tell you, because of this um, air duct and the beam and the electrical lights. Oh. But I got it all up, but I don't have any um, valves in yet. Coming over here, I've got all this up and all the valves in place. And it comes around the corner. And I kept it nice high and tight so that nobody's head would get hit. So it comes around here with another, it's a 90 degree angle, but I got it on a slope because I got a beam down there. I got all the valves in. Over here, this is where it originates. It's not connected yet, although it has the T to connect. That connector, I can't find anywhere. I've tried Home Depot, I've tried online. I found a place that can ship it to me in three days. So I did order it, but I'll probably take a ride to my local fish store because they sell a lot of pond stuff. They may have it. But here is the disaster. So let's take a walk into the laundry area. So I got this pipe good, all the valves in. Did I, does some of the lettering showing? Let me tell you, it was too frustrating. I, just, I, I got all the valves in. I didn't even worry about the lettering after the third or fourth piece. And then over here, because these lines are going to drop down into the J, Jay's tank, the angry Oscar. But here's the part that I don't like, that I'm probably going to have to do again, and I'm going to take a shot backwards. Because I am so not liking it, not proud of it, not happy with it, nor do I want to keep it like that. So this beam got in the way. So if I went under it, that would have put one, two, three, four, five more 90 degree curves, which I was told for every 90 degree angle you put in, it's taken away some of the power or the pressure or taken away, I don't know what. So I went up and over and because I went up and over, there was nowhere for me to come down to the end of it. So it comes out in the middle and it's over. It's just not what I, I'm not proud of it. Like I'm not proud of it. Do I keep it there and not be proud of it? Or do I just say F it and do get some more PVC and make it the way I think it should look? Because after all, this is my fish room. I'm thinking I got to find out how important it is to limit my 90 degree elbows. How important is it? Because right now I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 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 ten, eleven. I have 11 and 245, which is the same as a 90. There's three more going to make a difference. So I am going to get started today, but I do know if I'm going to redo that. It's functional. It's absolutely functional. I'm going to go off to Home Depot in my local fish store. But first, I'm going to drill those three holes because I think that's all I've left to do here. So the only valves I couldn't put in on the ground that I have to do while it's up in the air is the one over my Ambuna tank. So I don't want those plastic pieces from the PVC to get around or to fall into the tank. So I need to put four holes in this. Two for the uh, Ambuna tank and two for the one below. Even though there's only one tank below, I'm going to put two because I could put a 33 long if I had one. I don't have one, but I want one. But I don't have one. But I'm still going to act as if, since I'm already pulling these out. Get my fancy cool pencil. Makes me feel like a construction worker, you know. I'll just keep that in my pocket, you know. I know I'm a dork. I can't help it. Well, I could help it, but why would I want to? Doing it on this angle is really hard because I feel this moving and if this moves, that's going to make the hole too large. I got to really be steady. 
slow and steady. Whoop, whoop. It's the small things in life. Okay, what's next? Fix an embarrassment. How the other side of the fish room looks is an absolute embarrassment. I'm gonna fix that right now. Look at that, double fisted. Some things never change. <laughs> A little disappointed. Didn't have to pull out my pencil. I'll find a reason to pull it out though, trust me. Brand new ladder. Brand new pencil, linear piston air pump. I'm living the dream. Here's what I'm gonna try to do. I'm gonna push that out about two feet so it comes right here in front of the door to about here. Gonna have a 45 degree angle down, under, and up, and down here. So I'm gonna take measurements and add to here. Add there, like I said, here we go. Let's get started. Is it really any better? I don't know. I feel better about doing it though. I extended that out, I gotta tie it up. Comes over the door, under the beam, over down to where the fish tank starts and over and back up. Okay guys. It's the end of day two. Well, it's the end of the day for me because I'm exhausted. So close. I am about 100 feet short of tubing. So I got all this in. I don't have ceiling tiles yet, but that's fluff. I've got it going across here. I got my tea going into here. I can't put these clamps on. John's gonna have to help me. I just can't for the life of me get them on. So I was able to get a couple pieces at the pond store, well, my local fish store. I had to get the little tubing converter, but it wasn't big enough for a one inch PVC. So I used a plumber's tape and screwed it into another piece that let me connect it to the PVC. John put the clamps on for me, but I am glad that I came down and fixed this. I feel so much better about it. So of course I don't have any lines down here. I've just got the air line sitting in the tank. I haven't connected them to any sponges yet. So let me just say the old me, or I should say the 40 year old me, would not have stopped. I would have pulled an all nighter, got it done, run to the store, got the rest of the line. But you know what? I'm done. I'm gonna take a shower eat dinner and go to bed again like last night 8 30 i was sound asleep we'll go one more third day we'll see how it looks tomorrow now i just got to add all the tubing now i'm not connecting any of the sponges yet i'm just adding as much tubing as i can i'm gonna turn this on okay we're gonna start Gotta say, I'm a little nervous. In my fuse box, box, I've got three dedicated lines. One here to the fish room, one to the pond, and one to the, all the other outside ponds. So I got three dedicated lines. I'm going to plug in the pump. I can't believe how nervous I am. It's almost like, do you know how you're reading a really good book and you're loving how it's going and you don't want to finish it because you know it'll be over, but you gotta know how it ends? That's what I feel like. Here we go. Dun, 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 dun. I hear bubbles. So the first thing I'm gonna do, I had all new air stones. I don't know where they went. What am I missing here? You know what, I'm gonna put all the sponges on first. Okay, so I did something wrong. There is no air coming out. There is no air. There's no air. There's no air coming out, guys. Even though I have all these lines, if there's no line, I have it turned off. 
I don't understand. I'm going to turn them all off. Start from scratch. I don't know what's happening here. So now I got to see what's the ish. So what I'm doing now is I turned off all of them except for one. That one's working. That one's not. It's the two right next to the pump. But then I kept going. This one's working. I'm just going to keep going one tank by one and to find out what is it that's too long. Like what, where is there a disconnect? And if this doesn't work, I'm calling Rob because I'm about to cry. I thought this would be like an exciting pump turn on, air bubbling everywhere. No. Let me keep going one by one. So this tank here, so I'm going to swap out very small amount of bubbles. It's on full force with a small amount of bubbles. That's not cool. So right here underneath the pump, no, not really working. But if you follow this line down, this must be the beginning. All the way down, all the way down, that's working. Look at these are raging. So it's gone down and around, raging. But here, that's five, two feet from the pump, it's not. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna turn everybody who's on, on 45, because I don't have enough to go around. I don't even think these are working. So if they're off, they're staying off. If they're on, I'm going to turn them on 45. Because I don't think I have a pump big enough. Everybody who, who is on, I turned at a 45 degree. And I still don't have enough air. I got to call Rob. I think I panicked for nothing. I had all of these turned on full blast and none of them worked. So I turned them all to on a 45 degree angle and even now like this one can be down a little less than 45. It's like crazy. I really thought my uh, pump wasn't going to be big enough. Now granted I got more sponge filters coming because some of these tanks that have filters I haven't put the sponge in yet. So I want to take a look. It's done. So it starts with my 16 wide. I didn't run a line out there. I, I just dragged, I just put, put a line this way. So everybody's got air, sponge, air and sponge and up here. All complete. This one's got a sponge back there. This one has an under gravel, works, runs off of air as well. All my lower tanks. <laughs> this guy's got three. So he's got three, but I will be taking the sponge filter out. All my hospital and tanks are hooked up, even though only one has a light are here. My beautiful blue Oscar, every issue. He's got both a, a filter. And is this my Danios? Look at all this water agitation. These are my clay gobies, my Endlers, my my blind and Buna, my Nano 29 gallon. Jay's got two tanks. Oh, look at look at him in the corner. Do you see him? You probably can't see him because it changes water, and he's mad. Right now, I didn't use all these because I had one for each of my beta tanks. I'm using that and that to power all these and it's working just fine. I, I, so I probably didn't have to put all those holes in them, but you know what? Que sera, sera. Coming back up this way, I'm really happy that I, I redid it. Don't look at my laundry room. Come up and over. Nobody's gonna hit their head on the door comes behind I gotta get drop ceiling so I'll probably change that hanger because if I put it well or just cut the drop ceiling I haven't figured that out yet because I never did drop ceiling but I will be fixing it 
And there you go. I can hardly hear it. This is awesome. So, so thanks for checking out my linear piston air pump system setup. I hope you enjoyed it. I know it wasn't a professional how-to. It was more how I do. And that's how I did it. And I'm very happy that I did. So thanks, guys, and I'll see you next time. Hey, everybody, it's Susie Q, and I'm here to show you just what I do. I have a passion for fish and exotics, too. So come along with me, it's Susie Q. Hey, everybody, it's Susie Q, and I'm here to show you just what I do. I got a passion for fish and exotics, too. So come along with me, it's Susie Q. Hey, everybody, it's Susie Q, and I'm here to show you just what I do. I have a passion for fish and exotics too, so come along with me, it's Susie Q. Hey, everybody, it's Susie Q. Hey, everybody, it's Susie Q. Nah, nah, hey, everybody, it's Susie Q, so come along with me. Said I'm Susie Q.